and welcome back to New Day Northwest. Did you know that Earth Day is on Friday? And it has us thinking about how we can be better citizens of the planet. Now, it doesn't have to take a heroic effort. There are small ways to make a difference, and that includes our fashion choices. New Day stylist Darcy Canvin is here to show us ways we can do that. Now, Darcy, sustainable fashion is so hot right now. It is. I mean, and it's really important to think about because we all wear clothes every day. Mm -hmm. We do. So Thank goodness. this affects everybody. Yeah. Unless we're going to move to a nudist colony, like we're in it together. I've been to nudist colony, <laughs> yeah. and I've realized it's not for me. Okay. It's for you. That's fine. That's but it's not for me, segment. and I like clothes. Uh, that's a segment for another that's day. <laughs> well, you know I love sustainable clothes. Yeah. I rent my clothes. But you are saying everyday clothes that can go beyond that to things that we're buying. And there's little things that we can all do every day that add up to making a big difference. All right, I'm here for it. Kay. So first thing number is one, reusable shopping bags. Okay. I see a lot of people at the grocery store pulling out their own bags. Mm -hmm. I almost never see anybody in the clothing stores bring their own reusable shopping bags. That's a really good, if I'm returning something, this is a weird you bring thing. it in your bag. I bring yeah. it in like the, the, the Athleta bag or Nordstrom or whatever yep. bag. I'm not putting it in my Trader Joe's bag because it doesn't work. For so me. everyone, when you go out shopping, mm -hmm. bring a reusable bag. Brands like Athleta, which is a certified B Corp, Marine Layer, Lululemon, they take the steps and they spend the money to give you this reusable yeah. bag and you mm -hmm. can use it over and over and over again. You can also politely decline to have your items wrapped in tissue. Ah, uh, okay. So that's initially all right a, that's a savings right there I like that yeah so number two uh, avoid single-use outfits so single-use plastics is a big buzz term okay I coined single-use outfits mm -hmm. which is what I call it when you go out and you buy something for one specific event yeah. and then you never wear it again and then you get rid of it is and that is that also include fast fashion which is where you buy clothes super duper cheap and you wear it once or twice and it yes. falls apart and you throw it away yes so yeah. we love the rentals. We love armoire. Mm -hmm. Rent the runway. That's great for getting something once mm -hmm. or getting a trend that you want to experiment with before right. you make the right. investment. I would also like to normalize borrowing clothes from your girlfriend. Yes. Yes. So calling up a girlfriend, hey, can I borrow a pair of shoes? Can yeah. I borrow a mm -hmm. coat? Can I borrow a dress? Or maybe inviting a couple of girlfriends and everybody brings four or five things from their closet that they're not really wearing, brand new tags still on, and swap with each other. See, I've done that for a long time with my former co-anchor, Natasha, because yeah. we're the same size, roughly. Yeah. Um, and it's been really helpful. Hey, i got to go to this event. Do you have a dress? Sure, I want to go to Florida. Do you have any clothes? So it's been perfect for that. Yes. I like this. Okay, seek out sustainable materials. What is this, you say? There's so much innovation happening mm -hmm. and we need to support the companies that are making these important changes so like Rothy's for example oh, those are my favorite shoes ever the most favorite shoes I own in 2016 and we talked about it I talked about it on here in 2016 about how they were using it was a new technology at the time using recycled water bottles to make shoes and accessories so anybody who's bought Rothy's mm -hmm. in the last six seven years they're still continuing to improve this year they're gonna go zero waste and they're all also, exp they're also working on a new life cycle, which is taking old Rothy's and turning them into new Rothy's again. So what? double recycle. Can I get a discount? I mean, the shoes are not, by the way, that inexpensive. They can run anywhere from 150 to 200. But I'll tell you this: I throw them in the washer. You put them over. It's an investment so they for last me. A really they last. long time. I love them. So a lot of this stuff, supporting these brands that are doing this, it is a little bit more expensive than a fast like fashion these bathing options. suits. The bathing suits from Somersault. They're made from recycled okay. uh, marine plastics, which actually makes them more durable and longer lasting. Yes, they're over a hundred dollars, but you're going to have it for a long time. Are there Levi are these Levi's too? Is that something that's recycled? Okay. So water consciousness okay. is another big situation. Water. Okay. So the denim industry is very famous for using a lot of water. A lot I've of water. I've heard some jeans that are light washed, you know, they do that with water to make yeah. them lighter and lighter. 1,500 gallons of water for one pair of jeans. That's gross. That is <laughs> gross. Water is not a renewable resource, therefore. So we, Levi's is iconic in the denim denim world. Are they doing that with laser then? They started doing this waterless initiative. They're saving billions of liters of water. So okay. when you're shopping Levi's, you're going to look for this tag that says waterless. And they're using it, other technologies. Okay. They're using their 
they're just they're doing a lot. Yeah. You can go to Levi's.com to learn more. I heard about this on Jeff Goldblum's show. They yeah. use lasers and such. Very, yeah. very cool. Yeah. Instead of water. I like it. Okay, take care of your thr clothes and then thrift your clothes. Okay, taking care of these kind of go hand in hand because if you take care of your clothes, mm -hmm. then you can thrift them because they're right. still in good condition. I am surprised at how many people tell me I just I don't take care of my clothes. I just I, I wash everything on hot. I don't separate colors. Yeah. So mm -hmm. everyone take a little care. When you buy something, read the care instructions. You I use Woolite, yeah. which helps my clothes look better for longer. You know, steam things. Take take good care of your And it's okay cakes. to hand wash. Yes, resole your shoes. I do that. Yeah. I like it. And I love also not just donating my clothes, but I take a bag to donate when I buy more clothes. And Kim Holcomb, oh, you know. Oh, Kim Holcomb. She is the master thrifter. And she literally, like, I have found so many wonderful things. Coats. I got a coat the other day. Oh, woo. So, so thrifting beautiful. is amazing. And in the pandemic, when I wasn't able to go thrifting as much, right. I got really into online thrifting. I love thread up. You can get a bag like this. It's huge. You can fit probably 20, 30 garments what? in here. Send it off. You'll get credit. And then you can actually shop. You can shop other pre-owned items. It's kind of like cheating because you can search by brand, by size, by color. Oh, yeah, and get little, really but, great But stuff. I like that, too, if I don't have time for it, yeah. especially if I'm looking for my kids. I know. It's, it's awesome. It's Darcy, awesome. this has been awesome. This has been one of my favorite segments we've done, and I'm like, I'm inspired now. It's really important. If everyone just makes little steps, I think it can make a big difference. Thank you. Thank you. All right.